everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today is a scary day and an exciting day and uh, we're just going to get into it. Today is going to be my complete body care collection video. So for those of you who like inventory videos, the body care is what we're featuring today and there is a ton of it. Most of what I have is Bath & Body Works. So if you're a Bath & Body Works collection person, this is a good video for you as well. Now, um, I last filmed my collection in August, I believe. So do check that out if you're interested in what I had previously. And now we're gonna look at what I have after winter. So I've done one round of the semi-annual sale at Bath & Body Works, which was kind of my marker for when I wanted to film this video. So it's going to be an interesting one. We're also going to be comparing numbers. So what I had in the summertime versus now. Again, some of these categories are completely new. So things like pocket backs, fine fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. I didn't have those before. So those are going to be new to my collection this time. Also, I'm going to have things that I didn't feature last time. Although I should have, like lip scrubs or body oils, especially because I'm trying to work those out of my collection. So there's gonna be some newness there, although if I had them previously in the summer, I will try to identify that, it just you would not have seen them. I also have a few items that I've kind of pulled to the side, um, some things that I wanna to return to Bath & Body Works. So there may be a couple of things from a haul video that you guys have seen that's like, oh, not featured here. Just a, just a very few, very few. And I'll probably try to remember to mention them when I do my next Bath & Body Works haul. So it's gonna be crazy. But let's get into it. So, of course, I'll show you all the products individually. And I will also give you overview slides so you can see everything in terms of that particular category. Let's dive into this. So starting off with the bath soap category, we have the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution in the Glow and Radiance with Vitamin C and Citrus Essential Oils. This one's currently in use. I also have from Ivy and Castle the Raspberry Shea Bath Soap. Getting into lip scrubs next. I had two last time. Uh, so here we have the current one, the NCLA lip Sugar Sugar All Natural Lip Scrub. This one's in watermelon. I also have another, again, NCLA Sugar Sugar Lip Scrub. This one is in almond cookie. It has not yet been used. My two new ones from Bath & Body Works, their exfoliating lip scrub in champagne toast. And also from Bath & Body Works, the exfoliating lip scrub in vanilla. For bubble bath, um, I did not feature this category previously. I had four of them in the summer. What I have left, this one is from Beauty and Bath, their bubble bath in Floral Noir, Blue Lavender Nightfall. I also have one from Alpine Secrets Spa in Lavender Flowers. And from the body shop, the Coconut Foaming Bath. For a foot scrub currently in use is the Mary Kay foot scrub. And for foot care, both currently in use, uh, starting off with the O'Keeffe's for Healthy Feet foot cream. And then I have the Mary Kay foot mask as well. This is a hand scrub. This one is the Mary Kay Satin Hands. This is the Satin Smoothie Refining Shea Scrub in Citrus Rose. And a second Mary Kay Satin Hand Satin Smoothie Refining Shea Scrub. This one in white tea and citrus. Right, moving into hand soap from Soft Soap. This is their uh, Soothing Clean Aloe Vera Fresh Scent Hand Soap. It's one of the refills. Also in use, Life Brand Pomegranate Mango. Bath & Body Works Bright Christmas Morning. Bath & Body Works Winter Citrus Wreath and Bath & Body Works Crisp Morning Air. Non-Bath & Body Works hand soaps, again, another soft soap, soothing, clean, aloe vera, fresh scent, one and two. From Mason de Base, this is their hand soap in fresh pine. Moving into the back stock of Bath & Body Works, gentle foaming hand soaps, first up is Pink Peach Blossom, Mountainside Mist, another Crisp Morning Air, Sea and Sandstone, Kitchen Mandarin, Champagne Toast, Fresh Rainfall, Rosewater and Ivy, Peach Bellini, Kitchen Lemon, Sweet Mint and Rain, Gingham Gorgeous, Cocktail Garden, Pineapple Mango, Fresh Sparkling Snow, Frozen Lake, 
Silver Snowfall, Two Strawberry Snowflakes, Winterberry Ice, Frosted Cranberry, Ice Cinnamon Rolls, and Marshmallow Fireside. All right, this is the hand soap collection currently with the ones in use towards the top for our beginning until you hit that pineapple. Until the end of Chris Morning Air. Uh, currently, we are looking at 31 hand soaps. And again, counting these big soft soaps as one, even though I know there's a ton more than one in there. Which means I have gained 14 hand soaps since the last time. Moving into pocket backs next. This is a new category from me. The first one here is Crisp Morning Air. And I'll also note that I'm missing currently one that has use on it in Fresh Rainfall. Frozen Lake, Frosted Coconut Snowball, Fresh Sparkling Snow, Strawberry Snowflakes, Yuzu and Ginger, Cucumber Melon, Pineapple Mango, Strawberry Kiwi, and Sunshine and Lemons. Also accounting for a fresh main rainfall that's currently missing, there are 11 pocket bags. Kind of a random category here, the Mary Kay Satin Hands Protecting Softener. I'm just going to have these set in their own. Moving on to specifically hand creams. So starting with the one in use, the Body Shop Warm Vanilla. Also from the Body Shop, Winter Jasmine and Pink Grapefruit. Double one-offs here. First off, the Eucerin Complete Repair Moisturizing Cream. From Glow Bloom, their Hand Lotion in Peachy Citrus. From Sol de Janeiro, their Brazilian Touch Hand Cream in the Classic 62 Cent. From Dionys, this is the Goat Milk Hand Cream in Nutty Vanilla. Beekman 1802, the Goat Milk Hand Cream in Fresh Air. From Mary Kay, the Hand Cream in Citrus Fields. Also Peach Gardenia. Mary Kay Citrus Sorbet. Mary Kay Citrus Rose, and Mary Kay Mango and Orange Flower. From Bath & Body Works, Pure Wonder. From Bath & Body Works, the Aromatherapy line, the Mindful Paws, Vetiver and Vanilla, and then two Hot Cocoa and Creams. Here's an overview of the current hand creams. So we have 17 here. Uh, I had 13 previously, so I've gained four. Moving on to my body scrubs next, starting with the one in use. This is from Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy. This is their salt body scrub in sage and cedar wood. Getting into non-Bath & Body Works, first off is the Moroccan Oil Body Body Polishing Scrub. One of the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrubs with 10% HA. And the Mary Kay Satin Hands. This is the Revitalizing Shea Scrub in White Tea and Citrus. Getting next into the exfoliating glow body scrubs from Bath & Body Works, starting with In the Stars, Summer Melody, Champagne Toast, and Two Strawberry Snowflakes. Then in the Foaming Sugar Body Scrub Formula, Gingham Vibrant, as well as the original Gingham. And another body scrub hiding out. This is the Formula 10.6 Scrub Me Down Exfoliating Body Scrub. So for body scrubs, there are 13 here, so that means an additional two from last time. All right, next category, body washes, body soaps, body mousses, anything that's like a body wash shower gel. So the one's currently in use. First off, we have the Dove Body Wash Mousse in Coconut Oil. And we have the Nivea. This is their Indulging Body Wash in Cocoa and Macadamia Oil. Smaller sizes, we have a travel of the Dove Go Fresh Cucumber and Green Tea. Philosophy Amazing Grace. This one's also in use, I should have mentioned it earlier. The Body Shop British Rose, formula 10.0.6. Looks so clear, this is their body wash and alpha hydroxyl acid. From Coach New York, the Blue Shower Gel. Versace Bright Crystal Perfumed Shower Gel. Sponge Jelly, this is their Peace Lychee Ice Body Buffer. Ivy and Castle, this is their Shower Gel in Raspberry Shea. From the Somerset Toiletry Collection, this is the Tropical Fruits Shower Gel in Coconut and Lime. From St. Ives, this is their Exfoliating Body Wash in Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange. Nivea Indulging Body Wash in Orange and Avocado Oil. The Dove Body Wash Mousse, this one's in Rose Oil. And the Dove Body Wash Mousse in Argon Oil. From Soft Soap, the Moisturizing Body Wash in 
pomegranate and mango and from soft soap their exfoliating body wash in coconut butter scrub from olay two of the fresh outlast body washes in strawberry mint or in white strawberry and mint Moving on to Bath and Body Works, some of these are shower gels, some of these are body washes based on the reformulation. Uh, we have Sweet Pea, Carried Away, Rainbow Waves, Cucumber Melon, Gangnam Fresh, Gangnam Gorgeous, Two Gangnam Vibrance, Sparkling Orange Spritz, Poolside Cabana, Whipped Coconut Milkshake, Champagne Apple and Honey, and Strawberry Snowflakes. Finally, from Bath & Body Works, in the moisturizing body wash formulas, we have In the Stars, Pure Wonder, Champagne Toast, Gangnam Gorgeous, At the Beach, and Coco Paradise. So this is currently my body wash, shower gel, body mousse, anything that you use to wash your body in the shower. As I expected, this section exploded because most of the new stuff is Bath & Body Works here, plus some stuff from the drugstore I heard a lot of people talking about. The new number of this one is 38 of these products altogether, which means my collection has grown by 27 body washes. Moving on to body lotions, starting off with the ones that have use on them. The Dolce & Gabbana The One Golden Satin Lotion. The Somerset Toiletry Company Tropical Fruits Body Lotion in Strawberry and Papaya. Aveeno, this is their Tone & Texture Daily Renewing Lotion. Mary Kay Timewise Body Lotion, this is their Targeted Action Toning Lotion. From Delon, this is their daily moisturizer for face and body. It is their shimmering body lotion in the scent Oceanus. St. Ives, the softening body lotion in Orchid and Coconut. Or Coconut and Orchid. From Bath and Body Works, Brown Sugar and Fig. And also from Bath and Body Works, Strawberry Snowflakes. Getting into some samples from Soapbox, this is their Argon Oil Body Lotion, Versace Bright Crystal Perfumed Body Lotion, Celebrity Cruises, their Replenish Body Lotion, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, and the First Aid Body Lotion in the Smoothing Body Lotion with 10% AHA for KP. Unopened non-Bath & Body Works lotions, starting with from Dermalectives, this is their Energizing Body Lotion, Jergens Ultra Care, Life Brand Cocoa Skin Lotion, St. Ives Renewing, this is their Collagen and Elastin Body Lotion, and the Eucerin, this is the Complete Repair 5% Lotion. Moving into Bath & Body Works lotions now, starting with the Aromatherapy line. Uh, this first one is the Simply Unwind Sandalwood and Vanilla Moisturizing Body Lotion, and also from Aurora Therapy, this is the Moisturizing Body Lotion in Inspire Joy, Juniper, and Sage. Into the regular line now, starting off with Frosted Coconut Snowball, Pink Watermelon, Strawberry Soda, Summertime Surf, Sunshine Mimosa, Sparkling Orange Spritz, Poolside Cabana, Fall in Bloom, and Gangnam Heart of Gold. Here's our body lotion category, and a lot of them are in use, and there are a lot of small little guys here as well. Uh, last time I did a uh, body care inventory, I had 30, and now I'm sitting at 29 body lotions, so I am down one. Moving on to body creams, this one is in use. This is Jolly Gingerbread Village from Bath & Body Works. Into the minis now from Sol de Janeiro, two in the 68 cent. And then two from Sol de Janeiro in the classic Brazilian Boom Boom Cream scent. From Fenty Beauty, uh, one of the Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Creams. Wholesome Body Cream from Stone Street Soap House. The Refreshments line in their Velvety Body Cream Unscented. And the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is their um, Refreshing Body Cream. Moving on to Bath & Body Works and their body creams, two of Strawberry Snowflakes, Warm Vanilla Sugar, In the Stars, Carried Away, Cucumber Melon, Fresh Vanilla Blossoms, 
Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. Two in Gingham Vibrant. Gingham Gorgeous. Pure Wonder. Hibiscus Paradise. Poppy. Blackberries and Basil. Juniper Breeze. Emerald Mist. Watermelon Mojito. Golden Mango Lagoon. At the Beach. Golden Eclipse. Summer Melody. Sun Washed Citrus. Cocoa Paradise. Among the Clouds. Midnight Swim. Lakeside Citrus. Aromatherapy Orange and Ginger. Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. Waikiki Beach Coconut. Sunshine Mimosa. Aromatherapy Sea Soul Refreshing. Sunrise Woods. Pearberry. And Champagne Apple and Honey. So here is the body cream collection. There are 44 on the bed here. So lots of body creams to check out. However, I had 41 last time, which means I'm not up to too many. Moving on to body butters. This one's from Leo Reese in Sweet Bahama Sugar. Into the more of the travel sizes from formula 10.0.6. My softer side hydrating body butter with kiwi and almond oil. From Ivy and Castle, their Hydrating Butter in Raspberry Shea. From The Body Shop, this is their Body Butter for Normal Skin 96 Hour Nourishing Moisture. This one is Coconut. And we have the same formula in Strawberry. Uh, from Mitchell and Peach, this is the English Growers Flora Number no. 1 Body Souffle. Still in the box, the Mary Kay Satin Body Whipped Shea Butter. This one is in the scent Fresh Water Lily. The Chapter Body Butter in Lychee and Lotus. Then moving on to Bath and Body Works Body Butters. First up is Aromatherapy in Fine Serenity, Mimosa, and Spearmint. And then all in the Whipped Body Butter formula. First up is Vanilla Bean Noel, Japanese Cherry Blossom, Butterfly, Among the Clouds, and then two in Gangnam Gorgeous. Here is the body butter collection that I currently have. Uh, we have a total of 15 here. Oh, in the last update, I had eight, so I've added seven body butters to my collection. Moving on to body oils. The first one is the one that's in use. This is the Bio Oil in the 200 milliliter size. I also have a mini in the 60 milliliter size of the Bio Oil. Body oils, I've been doing a really great job of trying to work out of my collection. I have three left. I do want to have one on hand so my goals ultimately get to down to one. I had eight of the last time, and this was a category I did not film, but I have used up five. Finally, for the fine fragrances category, starting off with the Brazilian Crush Sol de Janeiro, number 62, with pistachio and salted caramel. Moving on to Bath and Body Works, I have two of the minis in hot cocoa and cream. At the Beach, Sun Wash Citrus, Emerald Mist, Champagne, Apple, and Honey. And the Strawberry Snowflakes, I've got my original, and then of course my backup. A brand new category to my collection is the Fine Fragrance Mist. I have 10 of them. All right, you guys, you still here? Awesome. Uh, so that was my body care collection. Uh, so lots of stuff. I'm hoping I got everything. Now, one of the things you may have noticed is unlike last time where I was like, these are my numbers for my bath and body works, my non bath and hours, my full size, my travel size. Um, that's too much work, especially with the size of my collection, as you guys saw. So instead, I just went number for number. Uh, and I know that can inflate some of those things because some of those sample sizes are really small and could be very easy to get finished off however it's just easier and then i know that moving forward so obviously some new categories into my collection the pocket backs uh, those are really new and exciting um as well as the fine fragrance mists um i didn't have any of either of those categories as of the last time i did my body care collection inventory so very thrilled about those um, some things I didn't feature last time, and I tried to mention it in the videos throughout, the body oils, the lip scrubs, the bath soaks. Oh, I didn't actually have any bath soaks. Never mind on that one. Um, so I'm working my way through. 
Some categories that have exploded, and again, some of these I was anticipating. So, for example, the hand soaps. Eh, it's fine. Hand soaps will get used eventually, and especially when wanting to stock up. And especially when wanting to stock up for the season. So, for example, I bought a lot of winter soaps this year. So that way I have them for next year and I'm not in the boat that I was in this year of waiting for the sale that I wanted and kind of being a little bit stuck with my seasonalness of my hand soaps because of course I am seasonal with my products. So that was one of our big growths and I'm totally okay with that. That one was expected. Um, obviously another large area of growth was the shower gel body wash category. Obviously with that, um, I had two Bath & Body Works products as of my last inventory. And since that inventory was filmed, I've been mainly trying to focus on larger shower gels, which you may have noticed in my empties video. So some of those soft soaps, the Vita Bath, so we're talking like 600 gram soaps. So I was trying to work some of those down. So again, I was expecting explosive growth there. The body butters, the body butters as well grew a little bit because those, uh, those $5.95 body care days, they got me because uh, that's when you get good deals on those body butters. And I don't use a whole lot of them simply because I'm really trying to work my way through my lotions and kind of getting that category down. I'm, I'm shocked that the body creams only went up from 41 to 44 because, I mean, I use a lot of them. I buy a lot of them and I didn't use as many body creams as I did body lotions if you are caught my year-end empties video. So that's all exciting. In terms of where I'm wanting to go with the collection, again, the big goals. And of course, stay tuned, subscribe, make sure you're checking out my project pans. And if you enjoy body care collections, I got something for you. I'm going to be doing, and you've probably already seen the intro for it. If you haven't, go check it out. My hygiene project, use it up shower gels, body scrubs, moisturizers. I'm doing it. I'm so excited and doing a little bit more because historically I've been doing, I'm going to use this body cream this month. And I did. So I do this one next month and it's good, but not as exciting. So I'm going to do a little bit more of a, here's a selection. Let's see how many I can use up. So let's go see that video if you are interested. But in terms of my big goals, the body oils, I want only one of my collection, just so that you can have it, right? So like a date night, a massage night, perfect. That's what I want it for. But in terms of specifically using it to moisturize my body, yeah, I prefer my body creams and my body butters. The lotions, that category is higher than I want it to be. It's sitting at 29, which means my numbers only went down one because it was 30 before. I've worked out a lot of the Bath & Body Works. It's just, again, those small little sample sizes really added up. Um, a couple from BoxyCharm had come in. So I really want to work the body lotions down because generally I do prefer the body creams. Those are kind of the goals where I'm going with my collection. So of course, make sure you stay tuned. I'll do another one after the June semi-annual sale, or at least after my first haul of the June semi-annual sale. And we'll compare my numbers from this time to then. So we'll see how we're doing, especially with the goals that I have set. But thank you so much for joining me for this very long video. Also, let me know, especially if you watched my last body care inventory video, which style did you prefer? Did you prefer it all on the floor, me going across? Or did you prefer what I did in this video where I'm holding it up against the backboard? So let me know your preferences. Let me know all of your thoughts about my collection down below. Don't worry, guys. I do use it up. And I prioritize as well in terms of the manufacture date, especially for the Bath & Body Works stuff. So kind of keeping in mind how long I've been having stuff. I haven't had anything turn on me. So, so far, so good. But that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.